Let's face it, preparing your presentation is already difficult. So let's keep it really simple. What you want to aim for is a structure of a dedicated intro that's compelling, a main part that transfers your ideas and supports them with stories, and a simple conclusion. I usually spend about as much time on my introduction as I spend on my main part of the presentation. Why? Because the first impression is the most important one and it primes your audience for an entire talk. It's like meeting a person for the first time. If you make a bad impression, it's really hard to come back from it. A good impression will last for a long time. You know, a lot of people start low energy by introducing themselves. And most of us know that we don't like people talking about themselves so much. So why not flip it around and start by talking about your audience? What I usually do is I start with the word you. I address the audience and I wrap it in a story that makes them imagine, makes them dream. That way I got their attention. And then what I do is I introduce myself very briefly and I transition straight to introducing the topic. So I would make an intro by saying something about them and how they can dream about the topic. And then I'd say, my name is Alex T. Stefan, and I'm here today to talk to you about topic XYZ. Do you notice the transition from an imagination that is about them through the mentor that's going to teach them today right to the topic? That's what you're trying to aim for. For the main part of my presentations, what I aim for is three points supported by three stories. Why do I do that? Well, the points I want to convey are transferred most effectively with the emotional experience in a story. So I make a point and I add a story that supports the point. And then comes the next point and another story. People will understand it better, they will relate better, and by that I have a more effective presentation. And then finally, what I do is I wrap it up with a conclusion that contains a short summary so I don't bore people, but also an outlook. What does it mean for their lives? What they've learned today, how can they transfer it and do something with that information? And then I'm all set. So remember, a compelling intro, a main part that is supported by stories, and a compelling short conclusion. That's it.